our top five is going to be a little different this week. Um, we're going to create bands. And I don't – did you understand kind of what I meant by that? I kind of understood what you meant. But, damn, I had a hard time trying to think of bands coming together. It's like, how would I put Freddie Mercury and Foo Fighters together? Yeah. And then the more I thought of it, it's like, you know what? I guarantee any of the singers that I put on there, if you put them with a band that knows what they're doing, they pretty much nail what they're trying to get across. Yeah. So I'll just uh, I'll just say what my band is, and then you'll kind of get an idea of what kind of what I meant. Sounds good. So my I'll band, tough. my band is called the Relentless Uprising. All right. I, I, good, good start already. Edgy emo, very very two yep. thousands. Love it. My lead singer is Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Good call. He, though he can be a bit of an a-hole, he, yep. he does a lot of it for good reasons. Mm-hmm. He's not just a, a decent metal singer. He has an okay voice for when yeah. they slow it down as well. Uh, rhythm guitar and backing vocals. I have Lizzie Hale. Lizzie Hale, that's... From Hailstorm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, believe it or not, I don't listen to a lot of Hailstorm. Um, okay. A lot of people have told me to, and I've just, I've had a hard time getting into it. Okay. I'm, I'm too stuck in my roots listening to King of Wishful Thinking on repeat over and over. <laughs> uh, the next two are, are interesting picks because you're like, how are these people going to mesh with, uh, by the way, you can be dead or alive for this. So, all right. Um, Eddie Van Halen, lead guitar. Fair. That's, that's a good choice. He's definitely one of the best guitarists out there that not, I can't say during my era, but definitely that I've listened to. Yeah. Uh, bass guitarist, Duff McKagan. From uh, from Guns N' Roses. Yep, good call. And this is the wild card of the group. My drummer is Travis Barker. I'm for it. I'm a huge Blink-182 fan. Yep. Uh, me and Ian listen to him constantly. Uh, Rock Street, we'd constantly be covering Blink-182 songs, even though... We're nowhere near as good, and I'm no Travis Barker by no means. Yeah, I would do my best to keep up or give it a variation so I could actually try to keep up with them. But yeah, yeah Travis Barker, uh, good choice, good choice. I like all of them. Yep. So that's my band. What is yours? My band. So didn't come up with a name. I'll think about it while I'm going through this. How about we call them the Rubbermaid take-alongs? I'm totally Ooh. not just reading that, <laughs> reading that from across the room. <laughs> so now sponsored by Rubbermaid. Oh, I love it. I love uh, it. Lead singer. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little crazier. John Mayer. Ooh. And he can play. I, he can shred too. He's not only is his voice make my my girlhood tremble, but he definitely <laughs> he definitely can shred. He has such large hands that I've seen. He doesn't actually like hold the guitar normal. Like mm-hmm. he hits the notes here and he gets thumb, hits the top string. And I'm like, just got these tiny little Burger King hands. How can I hold this whopper? So I uh, that's that's my choice for lead singer. He, uh, he he does a very good cover of uh Free Fallen, I should add. It's very good. Uh one of the songs that I've really grown to love is Neon by him. Um okay. especially, especially the live version. Okay. If you get a chance, yeah. you should try to listen to that. It's really good. Um, but yeah, John Mayer, my singer, my backup guitarist. Though not a backup guitarist, 
I want to see John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers in there. Um, just because I think those two could make a a weird pairing. I'd like to see it. Yep. Uh, you went then lead guitar, lead guitar. So I've been trying to think of this girl's name. Ooh, she yeah. was on the live tour. Let me pull it up real quick. Cause I know, I know I can't think of the name off the top of my is it, head. Is it Nita Strauss? It was, no, she didn't. Michael Jackson's, she was Michael Jackson's oh, guitarist. Um, Lita Ford. Is it Lita Ford? I think so. Let me make sure. Oh God, I can't type. <laughs> Yeah, Nita Strauss was, I believe, Alice Cooper's guitarist. Orianthe. Was or, ooh, yes. Yes. She's, she has a song called According to You. Yep. And it's, From like 2009, I think. Yeah, it was. yeah. And she's just, and you can just hear Michael Jackson in the solo. This is just, it's pretty much the Beat It solo into her song. It's very good. It's very well done. She does an excellent job in the on the frets but mm -hmm. i know i'm gonna get so much shit for saying that but i like it and screw anybody else who thinks they don't like it she's a good guitarist damn it <laughs> um bass guitar i'm i'm gonna take mark hoppus Ooh, this is an interesting band holy crap it's it's uh it's very Eclectic. i think that he could he can slow down music when he wants to. Okay. And I think with what I have here, I'm thinking freestyle, slow music, uh, indie kind of cover type of music. Okay. It's, it's good. Um, and then drummer, just because I love him, Neil Peart. Oh. From Rush. There I don't know go. what I don't know what he would do in this situation because it yeah. wouldn't make sense at all for him to be in this band. <laughs> but I love Neil Peart. And I, I just want to want to give him a shout out. And then backup singer, obviously Pitbull. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, what? Pitbull. You heard me. No, oh my God, Mr. <laughs> he can Worldwide. You just sit in the back and sing Mr. Worldwide. And that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't know what else he can do musically. I don't know how talented he is, but I want him in the band. Damn it! And I that I get to make it, so I want him in the band. <laughs> I, th there was a joke I used to tell where it was a. Uh, Say three words in Spanish. Now say three uh, cities. Congratulations, you just made a Pitbull song. I am Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a god in Miami, too. I doesn't surprise me. I think he has yeah. like 20 kids or something like that. Mm -hmm. Something like Dude's that. He's got a big family. <laughs> they come on tour, too. Hell. <laughs> <laughs>